Hola, my name is Luisa Zuluaga, and on behalf of Geolatinas, I welcome you to this display for AGU 2020. Although this format is uncharted territory for many, I am very excited about exploring the new possibilities of these remote meetings. As challenging as they can be, I think virtual conferences have great potential, not only for reductions in carbon footprint, but also in terms of accessibility and inclusion. I will share with, I will share with you now all I can about Geolatinas, what we do, how are we organized, and some of our initiatives and achievements. What is Geolatinas? We are an inclusive, circular organization driven by its members. Our mission is to embrace, empower, and inspire Latin women to pursue and thrive in careers in earth and planetary sciences. We aim to go from inspiring young and less young generation to support career development, increase our visibility, and hopefully improve retention at all stages. Why was Geolatinas created? So here we have some very discouraging numbers showing why do we need serious initiatives for diversity, inclusion, and retention. This is irrespective of academia or industry, policy and decision-making arenas. Although the data is mainly from the US, these trends are worldwide. As you can see here with these numbers, issues get amplified when one belongs to more than one minoritized group. And in current crisis, like the one we're seeing now in our global pandemic, the things can have important long-term implications. So we want to address this, and Geolatinas creates a space for us in which we can grow and develop, and hopefully we can improve these appalling numbers. Geolatinas has existed for less than two years, and with the exception of local teams, most of our organization runs online. In this short time, we have more than 200 active members seven local teams and 41 ambassadors, all spread out in 27 countries around the world. Big shout out here to Caro Villarraga, who is the one who is our leader keeping track of our membership worldwide. So we are mostly Latinas in earth and planetary sciences, but we are very happy to have members from other demographics. They're feeling very much at home advancing our mission. These numbers, when compared against the short time we have existed, tells us that something like Geolatinas was needed for long. Perhaps technological breakthroughs acting as catalysts for societal change. Social media and the internet are definitely the ones giving us our momentum. So Geolatinas is organized in both roles and committees. Here we have uh, the different roles our members can have, but the core of Geolatinas is the Leadership Council. In this council is where all activities and initiatives take place and can be initiated and led by any active member. Before we dive into the Leadership Council, I want to show you some of the current phases of Geolatinas. Our, our advisors, our awesome local teams around the world, our, some of our ambassadors, our current board of directors, and some of our connections with similar, with partner organization. Now, the Leadership Council. We are currently dividing the Leadership Council in six committees. Our initiatives are many and fall in several subcommittees within the committees. But our initiatives, as important as they are, they are also a playground for us. Any Geolatina can take ownership, take the initiative, 
test and train themselves as leaders. And this allows us to gain confidence and transferable skills in a very supportive environment. These are some of our established initiatives. The Friday feature in social media, writing accountability meetings, our newsletter. But I want to highlight that during this pandemic, we have provided extra initiatives, all led by our members. Yoga, karaoke, Zumba. Community support becomes essential when spending long periods of time at home and there's a big uncertainty about the future. So we have mentoring, coaching and career progressive initiatives like we, like we see here and more is to come. We are building strong connections, supporting each other, but perhaps most importantly, we are finding validation while navigating STEM careers. We have experienced firsthand how virtual con connections can have real life impact. Well, that doesn't mean there are not important challenges. We all do this on top of our careers, voluntarily and out of the passion we feel for our mission. Thus, naturally, engagement varies. Uh, we would also would like to have in our organization more people from industry and other sectors because uh, at present, uh, the majority of members are in academia. At a more broader scale, we need to move beyond these spaces and towards widespread cultural change. This is an obvious issue, of course, for us women and other minoritized groups, but this should also be a goal for the entire geo community. Repeated evidence suggests that diverse teams perform better in many metrics, including actual funding and profits, both in academia and industry. But despite the potential changes, changes are being painfully slow. Change is hard, but everyone needs to recognize that the benefits of a diverse and inclusive environment are for everyone and not at the expense of some. And they outweigh by far its perceived burdens. But okay, back to the present. What's next for Geolatinas? Our main immediate goals are to establish ourselves as a nonprofit and secure funding to support our activities. So if you felt motivated, inspired, or just curious, we'd love for more people to join us, to get involved and just to be aware of what we do and support our mission. And these are some of the ways you can do this. With that, I conclude this presentation for EGU 2020, sharing geoscience online. Gracias.